Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to World of Tanks. It's Jaeger 262. And I know I haven't covered World of Tanks in a while, and if you've been watching my other videos, you know it's because I've been moving around and things have been kind of hectic in my life. But I thought I'd bring you the Festival Fair event that Wargaming is doing right now for World of Tanks. As you know, the entire month of August has been celebrating different aspects of World of Tanks. We had the Czech celebration, we had Gamescom. We had, on the EU server for Gamescom, there were a lot of discounts on vehicles and premium vehicles and all that. Not here. We just had the home front event, and we just, yesterday, it came out with their Steel Hunter or Battle Royale version, which I will make a video of that soon. So stay tuned for that. And at the very end of all this is the Festival Fair. And essentially what it is, is 24 hour sales of premium vehicle bundles. So not just the vehicle like with the black market or the advent calendar, which this is very similar to, but it's actually bundles and you can only buy them through gold to the client. So essentially just like the advent calendar is buying a tank or a bundle of the three bundles of the tank for money in the premium store, you actually can only purchase these through the client using gold. And the price tag was quite hefty for some of them for this Lorraine 40 T bundle to get this kicked off. It is 11,000 gold. So if you want to, you can pay that price. Or if, and they, this is really cool, they've added this mechanic here, the add to pending purchases, you get three of these. And essentially what it is, is that even though the event runs between August 28th and September 17th, you can pick three vehicles as you go along because you might say you want to buy the Lorraine 40 T but you don't know what's going to come next and you don't want to miss out on an even better vehicle. What you can do is just add them to the pending purchase list and those vehicles will stay there. Again, you only get to do this three times, but it will stay there until September 22nd. It's actually a couple of days after the event ends and you'll have until then to confirm your purchases and you'll get all those vehicles. You won't actually miss out on them, which is quite nice. I personally won't be picking up Lorraine 40 T, but I thought that in this brief video, I would just you know, get back into World of Tanks and start covering news again. It's, it's a cool little event. I don't know what they're offering. I'm assuming it's going to be all the popular bundles that they've been putting out. I want to—I don't want to say like the past year, but you know how every week or every two weeks they come out with like new bundles. Like right now, it's the Soviet version of the Fury Premium Sherman. So they do that a lot, and I can't remember the last time they did that for the Lorraine, but I feel like it'll just be those. However, again, it's reported that there will be some very rare vehicles showcased here, so stay tuned, because I'll be making videos, just short little four or five minute videos each day of the vehicles that are available to you, because you do only have 24 hours. Now, that includes adding to pending purchases, so say you want to wait till tomorrow, you didn't hit the Lorraine today, once you hit tomorrow, you cannot add the Lorraine to pending purchases. The event for that particular tank is technically over. So keep that in mind, even if you're not gonna go and buy it, just be aware that you do have to add it to the list in the 24 hour period that you have. And always accept missions. Each day you will get another mission from this event, which will give you more tickets for your dog tags. I don't know if anybody's actually customizing dog tags. I personally am not, but if that's something you are into, that is tied into this event and so it'll give you an extra ticket mission per day every time that you log in you just have to click it actually here in the bottom right hand corner of the festival fair thing and i think that's it for world of tanks news um for anybody who follows or who's doing tank rewards we are in the final week of that so grind out your last missions get to tier four get those prizes and don't forget to claim them at the end of the month but I think that'll pretty much cover it. So as always, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Or subscribe to the channel if you want to see my coverage of the Steel Hunter Battle Royale mode or any other World of Tanks or Armored Warfare videos in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.